Okay, finally, FSD beta 10.69.3.1, that's software version 2022.36.20. Uh, big improvements in this one. Uh, there's a lot of change notes you can go through and find it online. Um, this one should also work uh, downtown with uh, streetcars, so we'll hopefully do a video on that soon. But for now, uh, we're going to do stuff around the neighborhood, so we're going to do the reverse route from Castlemore back to Copper Creek. So uh, here we go. Some software improvements that are independent of FSD. You just saw there that the the blind spot camera now uh, is at the top left. I believe it's configurable to be in any corner you want. Also in night mode, you can see all the side streets better. It used to be people would complain about, um, okay, let's engage FD first. People would complain about all the lines not being visible at night. Um, I haven't really noticed because I don't really take too many small side streets, but you can definitely see here that all the side streets are clearer than it used to be. But we only care about FXC, so let's go. Let's take a right here. We'll see how this does. This version also supposedly is going out to basically everyone that bought FSD. If you want in, you can have in. No need for safety score anymore. Um, so we'll see how many more people are getting it. This is driving on a real, really weird line here, but okay, self-corrected. Train tracks. Always oh, seems to slow down after, not before. Okay, let's see how it does at this stop sign. A little slow to stop. It wasn't a complete stop, but it was it was hanging around the line for the recommended time. Okay, here's an interesting one. We got to go around this stop vehicle. This car in front's got to do the same. And let's see how this behaves. There's someone behind us. Hopefully, no, don't go behind him. Come on, go around. Follow the car around. It's it, the trajectory line is there. Won't go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, the guy's going. Okay, we got a break. Okay. We are. Okay. Well, people are going. Okay, we got to break out of here and go. Uh, too bad. I mean, it should normally have just went. It has done. It has gone around stuff like that before, so it's kind of sad that it didn't go around this time. I've seen scenarios like that where it doesn't even blink an eye, it just drives right around. But maybe because there was more traffic this time, or maybe there's a little regression in the code, who knows. Maybe it was just taking a little too much of the road, other times it's vehicles are a little smaller, don't take up as much road. Slowing down a little too much. That was quite good. Maybe a tad faster would be better, but um, probably most humans go about that speed.
me a little slow for my liking. I typically go a little faster. But I see a lot of human drivers drive about that speed through stop signs, so maybe I'm the anomaly. Anomaly. Okay. Taking off right here. It's kind of blind. It needs to move up to see. It doesn't care. It just goes. It, it can see clearly. I okay. It, it saw clearly and it just went. Very confident. Very confident right turn. Preferring the left lane. I would prefer the right lane. Especially since, I mean, okay, left the right lane's ending, so was it smart to know that or it was just a coincidence? We won't know. Unfortunately, with uh, daylight savings time ending and us being a bit north, we get dark pretty quick nowadays. So um, hopefully I can try to do these tests with some daylight. Uh, unfortunately, I just got this update today, so I'll try and do this video as soon as I can. And unfortunately, it is dark. I got this update really late. Other people have gotten it a couple days ago. I'm normally one of the first few when it opens up to get it. It's odd this time that I had to wait so long to get this update. So long being an extra two days from the from the mass majority. I'm still preferring the left lane. I would prefer the right lane. You know, keep right except when passing. I would really like it for it to keep right. But I'm not going to intervene this time. Not for the first drive. I want to see what it does. Okay, now you're late changing. Your uh, turn coming up in 1.7 kilometers. It's really dark out and it still sees that cement truck up ahead. I mean, it's visualized as a, as a cube van, but still, it saw that cement truck, which is pretty good. Before the cement truck had its lights on, it was really dark. You could barely see it.
of course, when we wanted it to keep right, we get stuck behind a slow-moving vehicle. <laughs> the irony of it. Well, it's going around. It's going around. It finds it too slow. And then it should cut back in after, because it wants that right turn in a kilometer. Going in? Not going in? Oh, it's not going in. Okay. It, it goes in at the worst time ever. It goes in through the intersection. Yeah, it's a T-intersection with, you know, no traffic, but still. It's bad driving. Don't make lane changes through the intersection. Oh, why are you going 30? It's just 60. Come on. dark. Okay, and we're here. Um, quite uneventful. Saying that doesn't get many views, but I mean, it's gotten to the point where it's really good. You have to find something more challenging for it to do. So yeah, that's it for this one.